crack on the YouTubes. It's cool than we're cool. Welcome to Brick Brack, everybody. It we are in the new studio, new setup. Let's hope this works. We're doing it live again. I'm not recording the audio after the fact. And what what better way to start off than with the Hulkbuster? Lego loves to make Hulkbusters. They get $500 Hulkbusters, they got little Hulkbusters, they got crappy Hulkbusters, and they got good Hulkbusters, like this one. At least I think it's good. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, this is the Battle of Wakanda edition. Comes with Bruce Banner. Looking all, looking all angry like he's gonna Hulk out. But he doesn't, but he should've. Anyway, we're gonna build this up. It's gonna be great. Let's get to building. So this set comes with stickers. Bag one. Bag two. Bag three. Alright, so already I know that this is going to be a very solid build. Um, if you recall the, uh, what is it, the smashing uh, Hulkbuster, it was the one with the arm that went up and down like he was, you know, whatever. Um, it, it was kind of flimsy, like the arms kind of fell off and they're kind of just not put together right. This, I can already tell, is a solid build. Um, I'm guessing this is the cockpit in some way. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty cool. The other thing I like about it is the you know the color scheme for the Hulkbuster is kind of obvious. It's going to be a lot of dark red and a lot of grays. But the using the um, the dark tan uh, pieces all over this thing, um, it it's interesting. It makes the build a little more. Uh, interesting than one would expect from a Hulkbuster because after all we do know Lego loves to make Hulkbusters um, every year every quarter year but uh, yeah here we are let's uh, keep building Y'all know how much I love stickers, or maybe you don't. I don't like stickers. I don't like putting them on. They're hard to do. They look cool once they're on, but they're hard to put on. Um, which is funny, because I just finished a design that's over on a uh, rebrickable called Shwarma, which is very much Marvel themed. And there are a lot of stickers in it. Yeah, I know. I'm a, I'm a, I am my own worst enemy. This is already looking amazing. Guys, I'm gonna call it right now. Go out and buy this set. I think it's going to be, hands down, the best Hulkbuster that LEGO has produced. It's just solid, and it looks so, so cool right now, already. It's not even, I got two more bags to go, plus the rest of bag one, and it's already, just amazing. Get it for nothing else. Get it for Banner. You're gonna need Banner if you're gonna build Shwarma. I mean, you just do. So get this one. So you can get Bruce Banner. You can get this awesome suit. And uh, just, just do it. So 
So there we have it, the body of this Hulk Buster. Look at that. Open up. Put banner inside. Oh, oh, I guess he can sit. Close it up. Oh, there's his hand sticking out. There you have it. Move on to bag two. Bag two. Moving on to bag number two. Alright, it's a foot. It is a leg. It's got big toes. Look at them toes. Alright, one leg is done. Alright, so here we have bag two. It was basically just the feet. There's a lot of flexibility in these feet. The ankles, the knees, of course, don't bend, but the, the hip bones bend, the ankles bend, the toes, these long, uh, these long toes. Um, so you can really, posi you can really um, position it in a bunch of different stances, and it looks funny from the top down but it'll make sense when we do a side shot in a little bit but yeah cool look at that that's pretty rugged pretty bulky let's get on to bag number three I have not nor will I ever be a fan of the Thanos henchmen that come in these sets. I don't get it. I, I, I saw the movies. I They don't, they look like robots. I don't get it. I might get a lot of hate for this. I don't care. I don't, I feel like these are such throwaway minifigures. Give me more, give me more Wakanda soldiers. Throw in another, uh, you know, classic, you know, another uh, minifigure character or something. Throw Black Widow in here, I don't care, but these guys are such nonsense to me. That's my rant. Alright, let's get let's move on. Bag three. I built both arms at the same time because I knew that was going to happen. And there they are. Those are pretty cool. They get this cool range of motion. They get the fingers that close. Now we're going to pretty the whole thing up. And here it is, the Battle for Wakanda Hulkbuster from the Infinity Saga's conclusion. We got a nice 
Wakanda Soldier. We've got Thanos Minions. Like, again, I don't get it. I think they're kind of cheesy, but whatever. Got two of them. We got Banner wanting to Hulk out, but never does. Unbelievable. It would have been cool to see him Hulk out and bust through that Hulk Buster like it was made of paper mache, but whatever. This is a really cool Hulk Buster. Um, probably my favorite one of the bunch. Looks really slick. Has some cool design elements. I love the shoulders. I love the way they did the arms. Um, you know, the, the legs are pretty cool too, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one you want to get. If, again, for nothing else, get it for Banner so you can build shawarma and have a good old time. Relive those glory days when the Avengers were still new. Exciting. Look at that. Bruce Banner, happy guy. You can make him angry or make him make him calm and peaceful. Look at that. That's the cockpit. You can put any minifigure in there you want. There's the uh, Smash Up Hulkbuster. And there's Obadiah's Iron Monger. And you can see Magnum P.I. and his Ferrari down the background. Some other cool cars. And yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Tell an enemy. Tell anybody. We're going to have some really cool mock builds coming up soon. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, motorized Lighthouse coming up. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time, let's get to building. Good night.